What's up, Moose? What's going on? So you're gonna do the driveway test, right? Yeah. So let's see, let's see what you got. Oops, scraped a little bit, but you're good. Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna do a vlog on something different. We had uh, one of our Instagram followers say there was too much rice on the videos. So uh, we want to uh, even it out a little bit, right? For those uh, muscle car guys. So we're gonna actually do a Mustang today. Mm -hmm. There it is. So 2015 Mustang and the owner is right here. His name is uh, Moose. I know yeah. him as Moose. Yeah, so I, I go by Moose. Um, my real name is Miguel, but you can call me Moose. It's just something that's stuck from childhood. But uh, yeah, this is my Mustang. I, I love this thing so much. Uh, I got it back in April and I, it's been fun ever since. You know, I used to own an 05 Mustang GT and it was just, it was just like such a, such like, it made me, it made me just fall in love with cars even more. My brother, he's all right over there. He just got me um, into cars and ever since then I've just loved muscle cars. I've loved, I love tuner as well, but I don't know. There's just something about a muscle car that I love. So what do you guys think? Comment on the comments, you know, uh, too much rice on the videos they say. I don't know what you guys think. Let them know how you guys feel. Do we need to put more muscle cars? What made you decide to go with the muscle cars instead of uh, imports actually that, you know? Um, growing up, my dad always had Impalas. He always had um, just a, a bunch of like American vehicles. And so uh, ever since I was a little kid, I would always see my brother and my dad working on them. And that kind of just fueled my, my passion for it. And I do love tuners as well. You know, my next car, I do want it to be a tuner, but um, there's just something about a muscle car that is, is close to home. And it's just, it's just, it hits my heart. And so every time I see a muscle car, you know, I just, it, it gets me more excited. So is that kid over there, uh, Junior, is that to blame? Is that who you blame? Is yeah. that who you blame for liking muscle cars a That's lot? who I blame for killing crowds. Damn. So, I mean, how does that how does that work out for you guys, actually? Uh, he has that old school, a uh, 5.0. So do you guys get a lot of that uh, killing crowds on social media and things like that because you have a Mustang? Uh, not too much, but but yeah, we get we get some people, you know, just, oh, your Mustang sucks or your Mustang's amazing. And some people are like, oh, you're you're out there killing crowds. Someone actually like laid on the top of my hood and and pretended that they were like a dead person and I on this car yeah on this car and I was I got I got pissed you know it's <clears throat> I don't want them to scratch the, the vehicle but they're like oh I, I was just pretending that I was part of the crowd so know? where was this where did this happen uh, it was at a car meet one one night Damn. this person laid on the top of my hood and you know I was kind of getting cool with him but did anything happen to it or no no nothing no. happened so what do, what do you think about that junior cause Gustavo right Gustavo. Either way. Either way. Uh, so Gustavo, this guys, this is Gustavo. This is his brother. Okay. What's going on? So Gustavo's a pretty cool guy. So I know Moose through Gustavo. Uh, so what do you think about people that do stuff like that? Uh, um, I think I think it's like there's there's a there's a point where there's a joke, guys. Um, it's cool. I definitely dig it. Ask the owner first if that's something they're cool about. Maybe put a towel down, something like that. But if I'm I'm not expecting anybody to like. I don't know. I, I guess I would say if you bring your car to the meet and I just run over and lay on top of your car, how would you feel? Yep. It's 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 cool mm -hmm. and I get it. It's a joke. I get it. it's a Mustang and everything like that. But there's a point where you have to have like the respect, especially at a car meet, guys. Yep. It's it's different. It's it's yeah, not definitely. I I personally think that so that would almost activate me, as you would say in oh, Spanish. Yeah. You know, oh, it uh, did. It would activate me <laughs> almost did. like fight fight mode. You know, <laughs> like yeah. like a, like a video game. You know, like fight. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I'm glad you didn't do something like that. I'm, I'm glad nothing happened to your car. Uh, Junior, um, or Gustavo, it uh, looks like you brought your uh, 502 over there. So you're, the old school versus the, 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 the new, new school, school right? Yes. Uh, that's a cool, you know, mint 50 that you guys can see back there. Uh, we're not gonna do a vlog on that today, but I think it's pretty cool to see the new and the old, you know, the older brother having the older car and then the younger brother having the newer uh, Mustang. I think this is, I, I personally think this is one of the best Mustangs ever made. The newer body style is one of my favorite, personally. I do like Mustangs and uh, I think they sound nice. I think the Mustang has like one of the nicest quality sounds uh, when it comes to exhaust. My original dream car was a Terminator, an 03 oh, wow. Ford Mustang SVT Terminator. But I had a girlfriend at the time, uh, she lived in Tahoe. So it was either between the all-wheel drive WRXs, bug eyes, or a two-wheel drive where I wouldn't be able to get a Tahoe. So you guys know I had to go with the import. So that was the decision that made me go towards the import and all-wheel drive. 
You know, a Mustang wouldn't have made it over the Mount Rose <laughs> no, or, or 267 <laughs> in Kings Beach. But uh, so I guess that's what made the decision for me to go with the uh, import, the yeah. girlfriend in Tahoe. Yeah. I needed all wheel drive, you know. And, uh, <laughs> it was uh, you know, I needed all wheel drive. That's all. That's all it comes down to. So and the Mustang was not going to do that. So, yeah. but I do love Mustangs inside of me. It's one of my favorite muscle cars. Um, so you pretty much were telling me you did buy the car with a lot of the things that it has done to it, right? Yes, so, so if you can see here, these wheels are actually, they're not stock, but they're replicas. They're, I'm pretty sure they're from American Muscle. And um, the, the studs, <laughs> they're also aftermarket. I have uh, aftermarket springs on there. They're Ford Performance. So um, all this stuff, you know, I bought the vehicle like this already. So yeah, the wheels look pretty nice. What kind of tires does it have? Um, uh, not really, it's uh, Sumitomo's. And, uh, what not size? Really... 275, 3520? Yep, and then uh, the wheels are te uh, 20 by 10 in the rears and 20 by 9 in the front. So nice. it's a little bit of a staggered. So the, the body line on the on the Mustangs, this is pretty much stock, right? Yes, it's, um, it's stock. So it has tinted windows. Uh, what percent do you know? Uh, I don't know the percentage. I, I didn't really talk too much with the previous owner, but I just know that it's, you know, it's a, uh, it's it's dark on the outside, but I love that in, on the inside you can still see, oh. you know, even at nighttime you can still see pretty good. Nice. So, so um, from here you can see the roof is wrapped. Yes, there is, there is a wrap. You can actually tell right around here. You can tell that line right there where they cut it. So that's where it's wrapped. Nice. Um, so it I looks like it. it's probably five percent, I think, or maybe it's doubled in the back. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's five percent, and then the front window is tinted as well, right? Yes. The side skirt is stock. Yep, that's stock. That comes with the with the pre or with most Mustangs, I think. And then um, on the uh, on the five O emblem, yeah. is that five O emblem uh, a factory or is it aftermarket? No, this is also aftermarket, but the stock emblem is actually uh, like a aluminum color. So cool. No, it looks good. It looks clean. So you got like a little spot mirror on the new Mustangs that has a defroster? Yes, and then it has the side blinkers mm -hmm. and it also has right here, if you look, there's a, a little projector for when you open the door, the Mustang symbol actually shows shows there. Is that factory? Yeah, that's factory that's as well. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Got a Brembo uh, calipers. Uh, are they six piston? Um, I'm not quite sure. <coughs> I think they are. It looks like they they're pretty big. They're pretty big. Uh, yeah, and then so, the so Brembo the calipers factory. Yeah, factory just in the front, not in the rear. Okay. And then the rotors are also factory. They didn't come with uh, drilled or slotted or anything. Nice. So, so, so you have um, so you got the LED third uh, third mount high brake light is what they call it, right? Yeah. So factory as well. Um, what's going on with this sticker here? The in memory of Rick. Uh, Casper Garcia. So this sticker is actually a tattoo that was um, that my dad has on his shoulder, and this this uh, this is my uncle right here. Um, he was actually in he was involved in a car accident that killed him one day before I was born. Wow. So and his name was Uncle Mike, and everybody calls me Mike. That's, so. Well, that's cool. That's pretty nice, guys. Uh, I know a lot of people do put a, a show appreciation for a loved one that they lost. So that's pretty cool and very unique. Uh, the uh, Moose Stang, that's a design that you uh, cur you just came up with, you know, because they call you Moose, you said? Yes, they call me Moose because of a movie. If you've seen Step Up 2, the movie, um, I used to have long hair just like, the, just like the kid in the movie, and ever since middle school, you know, someone started calling me that, and it, the name stuck, and everybody calls me that now. And, you know, Mustang and then Moose, Boom. you know, put it together, you know? That's pretty handy. You guys got to admit, though, that sounds pretty cool. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So the back. So is this a factory piece, or does it have the Mustang and the, and the like you know in the middle like old traditional Mustangs? Uh, this is not the factory piece. You can actually <laughs> purchase this for like a hundred bucks on American Muscle, and basically you just there's you can see little tiny divots in here where you can drill in and put the emblems and stuff. But um, I just chose not to. This is just a a blank piece. Nice. So. It looks clean. Tail lights look nice. I see you got your license plate with the moose yep. deal going on. That's a uh, YB moose, so uh, your boy moose. <laughs> your boy moose. Yep. <clears throat> so if you guys ever see him, so it's your boy moose, and that's why it says YB. So easy yeah. to spot. Yeah, so my YouTube channel and my Instagram are both your boy moose. So cool. Nice. Right, so easy name to remember. Uh, so tell us about the back. What do you got going on on the bottom here with the exhaust and the splitters? Um, so I got a Flowmaster exhaust system. It's a cat back exhaust, and then. 
these splitters, um, they're actually, uh, again, from the previous owner. So this is the only thing that I put on the vehicle myself. But right here, you can see um, two little screws on each side. And so there's just four of them. And that's just, how it came? Yeah, I just really love the look. That's how they left it. And it's actually like a... Like a aluminum. Iron, yeah, it's like an aluminum nice. painted. And the the exhaust is a full bolt-on exhaust. It's just a Flowmaster. Um, it's a Scavenger X-Pipe with the outlaw axle backs so those together is just a full bolt on system and it sounds mean well, well we're gonna do something quick this time why don't you go ahead and turn it on All right. so you can hear how it sounds it's a little loud <laughs> so that was pretty loud uh so american muscle there you go so that's probably um, that'd probably be louder than the Camaro ZL1 Javier. Javi, he might uh, take a, if there's a trophy for for uh, exhaust right now for muscle cars. I think he he would he would take it. I know what you're gonna say. Your your exhaust is stock. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is probably this is the loudest muscle car we've had on the channel. So it sounds pretty good. Sounds clean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the front end. So what what's the aftermarket on the front end? Uh, the only thing aftermarket on the front end is this grill right here. It's the RTR grill. So this, this grill here was kept stock. So you can see like the honeycomb structure here is, uh, that's, that's all stock from factory. This is a RTR grill from, I think it's Ken, Ken Block, or Vongen Jr. Or Ken Block, one, nice. one of the drifters. But um, this, <laughs> this grill is actually compatible for uh, mm -hmm. the, the RTR lights that you can put here. You just gotta put like two, drill in two holes here, so. It looks really nice. It looks yeah. really clean. So everything on the front end is pretty much stock besides the grill. Besides this grill, yeah. It's nice. It looks good. And then the, the even the hood is pr pretty um, much factory? This is actually aftermarket as well. Mm. Um, I found the picture of when this vehicle was actually purchased in California by... I'm actually the third owner, so this vehicle was purchased in California and it actually just had the stock white ones. That looks so much nicer like that. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and pop the hood so we can check out uh, right. what do you have going on. Why does it make that much noise? Boom, there it is. So these uh, new 5.0s are actually a 5.0. Yep. So what's the difference between an old 5.0 like that uh, to a new 5.0 like this? Well, uh, obviously, like you said, the technology and also it's the the bore. The bore and the and the stroke is different. So it's actually, a, it's called a, a true 5.0. Um, I guess the so the that, old Mustang is, is that not a true 5.0 or nope that's like a 4.9788886 or something like that. And what what is it? Tell me why it's not exactly a 5.0. Um, so back in the day, obviously it was a little different. Everybody wanted to compete. Chevy came out with their 305, which is actually a 5.0. Um, Ford said we have a 5.0, but when you actually break it down, you come down to the numbers of bore and stroke. Um, you look at the compression ratios, how much CCs the heads are pushing. You're looking at. 4.97 really so it's not a true 5.0 and a lot of Chevy owners will, will call you out on that and it's just because they don't like losing to a 4.97 versus <laughs> you know anything else yes uh, 5.0 just sounds cleaner mm -hmm. um, so how much power does that car make from the factory since we're talking about according to factory it'll do 250 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque based off the videos I haven't dynoed that one yet but based off the videos uh, that I've seen Online, I've been watching you know different Fox Body videos. It puts down about 180 horsepower and maybe like 240 foot pounds of torque, so it doesn't go anywhere. Damn! So it's like my, it's like probably as strong as my CRX, but my CRX is lighter. Yeah. So he works out of Dodge dealership and he likes Ford. So what do you guys think about that? Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back yeah. to the 50. So this is actually a true 50, right? Yes, this is a true 50. So is this an aluminum block? This is full aluminum block, full aluminum heads. Um, and then it's just the design of the, everybody wants to call it a banana intake, because that's what it looks like. Um, it looks like it has bananas on the top, but just the, the whole thing. Bananas on the top, banana intake. <laughs> so, so you're saying there's different fi, uh, different uh, coyotes. What, what, are you, what are you saying with that? In 2011 to 2014, you do have the first generation coyote. 2015 to 2017 was the third gen coyote, or second gen coyote. Your third gen coyote obviously came out in 18. And then now you have your Voodoo, and then the, actually the Voodoo block came into play, which is technically another Coyote. Um, but the 18 and 19, there was a th three gen, four gen Coyote swap going on. So what does that mean? Everything you just said, can you just explain it in English? 
Uh, it just means that they update the engine every so every now and then. And what do they update? Just uh, horsepower, torque, and a couple tweaks in technology. Because this guy, uh, you know, gets all technical over here. Uh. <laughs> Babe, bottom line is, it'll, it'll. They change the bore and stroke a little bit, and like my brother said, they do tweak with it. They change a little bit of how the timing is is advanced and, and so, retarded. And so, how much power does this car have? Um, this one was actually dynoed <coughs> at 408 to the wheels. Oh, 408 to the wheels, damn. Yeah. Oh, What's uh, what's factory? Because this one has exhaust, right? Factory, yeah, it does have exhaust, but factory, it's 435 to the crank. Mm -hmm. So, um, nice. it's all I have never tuned it or anything. So, but it looks good. It sounds good. It has a nice uh, strut strut bar, right? What they yep. call it, a Mustang OE factory. Um, the engine looks pretty pretty new. Uh, I mean, the car itself looks like a newer car, so like it's supposed to, right? So we're actually riding in the car, guys, and um. Yep. It, for being a muscle car, guys, uh, it's pretty quiet. You know, um, you know, it feels good. It's smooth. It has a, a aftermarket springs, correct? Yes, it does. So it's, uh, for performance. For performance, you were saying. So it feels pretty good. Uh, the gauges, the, the, the setup in here is really nice and comfortable. Um, the view, considering it has a big hood, actually, uh, the, it just it, feel, it feels good. It doesn't feel. Uh, I think this is probably one of the best Mustangs built in my opinion. Uh, I like it. Uh, so you got your nice batch here. I don't know if you can see it on the video. There we go. So the Mustang looks like it's been around since 1964. So I do see you have Christmas lights. So this car lights yes, up I pretty do. nice. Uh, at night you can see it way better, but actually right here, I got I just got the power inverter right here and I just hook it up. And boom, there look at that guys. Oh, that is the first on the vlog guys. Christmas lights. So he's into the Christmas spirit. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like it. So it's manual. So it's a six-speed. I can tell. Yep. So manual, guys. For some of those guys or girls that don't know how to change gears um, <laughs> or know what that is anymore, you got some some buttons here. Well, um, your hazards, your traction control. Uh, I don't know what that one is. That's uh, the steering um, feel. So if you look right here, you got normal, you got sport, and then you got comfort. So it just uh, changes like how hard it feels to turn oh, it. Cool. Yeah, so, so I just can, always just leave it in normal. You can tell the difference? Yeah. Steering, uh, what's this one? Charging. That one's uh, actually the driving modes for the vehicle. So you got uh, same thing, normal, and then you got sport plus. And then after that, you got actually uh, snow and wet mode. So then you got your uh, pretty much your heater controls. Um, you got your, is this touch screen? Yes, it is. And is that factory too? Yeah, this is also factory. So I got navigation here, and then you know I have, have climate, and I got actually heated and cooled seats, so you can hit, hit here nice. or you can get cooled seats. Nice. And then you know, of course, the entertainment. Vacuum. What is this? A uh, vacuum? Yeah. So every time I I hit the gas, you know, it's just the air coming in. The so it's just measuring the air coming in. Yeah. Uh, the oil pressure PSI, which is always yeah. good to know. You have your remotes on your uh, steering wheel. Yep, I just got the controls for the for the gauge clusters and everything, and I got my tire pressure, my air fuel ratio, cylinder head temperature. I got inlet air temperature, oil temp, voltage, um, just a bunch of different little things. I also have trip and fuel here. So I've got 15 average uh, miles per gallon. So 15 miles per gallon, guys. So if you guys are complaining about your car, uh, this one gets 15 miles to the gallon. So they have not got better on gas fuel yep. economy. <laughs> so you got back seats, yep. not really practical, right? As most two two door cars, um, I like it. You know, two cup holders. Um, got your glove box. Yeah, just regular mirror. And then uh, your visors. That one has the remotes you can uh, uh, put in for your garage door openers. Yes. Uh, on the other side, it's right there. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, that's what I like about cars like these. Uh, nothing too crazy, and it feels good. I mean, this car drives really nice. Yeah, I love it. I mean, every time I get in a muscle car now, I guess like the ZL1 from Javi, it just they feel really good actually too. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, in 2015, once they redid the entire interior, um, I don't know, it just feels more roomier and it doesn't feel as cheap as the older Mustangs do. So I, I really love that about this. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you, Moose. Thank you, uh, Junior. Uh, Caesar, thank you. El Primo, yeah. 
and uh, Caesar's helping out with the rollers again, guys. Uh, you know, he's supporting the channel, and I want to thank him for that. You guys, thank you for watching the, the channel, too. Anything you guys want to say to the younger generations or to motivate people out there or anything you guys want to throw in there for the vlog? Um, honestly, you know, this is something that, you know, a couple of years back, I wouldn't, I never believed that I would be able to own. And I know it's not like a GTR like David's or, you know, it's not a Lambo or anything, but, you know, you just think about things like this where it's like, I'm 21 and there's people that tell me like, oh, you're sponsored by mom and dad and, you know, your dad bought you this and this and that. And it's like, no, you know, you, you motivate yourself and as long as you have the, the knowledge and not just the knowledge but the will to be able to do something like this to drive your passion then I think that you know anything's possible so what I want to add to that is I uh, attitude is everything and today you could be the smartest kid the most knowledgeable you know uh, you could go to college you know some of the kids that go to UTI and stuff like that, which is fine didn't you go to UTI yeah, yeah so so my respect you know but I guess what he's what I would tell you guys from a person my age I would have to say that attitude is everything because I've had a uh, I've worked with people that have like, you know, bad attitudes and they're the smartest people, but that they're, the, they're their worst enemy. So you can afford things like this because your good attitude to get you out of bed at a certain time. A lot of people say it's luck. They tell me I'm lucky. So it's not luck to get up at five in the morning or to go to a time to work on time every day yes. uh, or to pay your payments on time and things. That's not luck. That's being responsible and, and adulting or growing up. But just keep a positive attitude, guys. And uh, you know, whatever happens in life, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And if you guys work hard, you can have something like this at age 21. So thank you, Moose. Anything you want thank to throw in there? Um, uh, guys out there, I, some some people, like I have family members that tell my brother, like, dude, that's my dream car. That's something big, guys. Like my brother gets up every day, like David was saying. He gets up every day, he works hard, he busts his ass with a great attitude. You never have to worry about nothing. You, If you really want a GTR, if you really want a Lamborghini, if you really want to buy an airplane, have a big old house, how bad do you want it? Mm -hmm. Whatever you put into this life, is you're going to get out of it. Exactly. So if you want to wake up at 11 o'clock and just snooze out and stay up and you know what, 2 p.m. comes around, you want to take a nap? All right, you didn't make no money that day. Yep. You wake up at 5 in the morning, you bust your ass, you hustle, you get home at like 6, 7, yeah, you're tired. There's your reflection. Yep. Cool. Well, thank you, Gustavo. And uh, again, thank you guys for the support. Hope you guys like the vlogs. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, just keep, keep a positive attitude, guys. Uh, knowledge is power. You know, the, the traditional the saying. Um, and thank you. We appreciate you guys. I got so, this thing, so. So, truck challenge, and he knows how to use it. Low in the dark. All right, ready? So let's see. For the vlog, guys, for the vlog. All right, for the vlog. Let's see if you can get fit behind the Mustang. Oh, look at that, easy. The owner is trapped inside the trunk. And him, look, he's locking himself in. Boom, close it, close it, close it. Or it doesn't count? Nope, doesn't count. There we go. All right, <laughs> let's go for a drive. Let's go do some burnouts. 